Hello everybody, my name is Promise, and welcome back to more Rebel Inc. Escalation with our Urgent Alpaca Campaign. Which of the next three maps do we think we want? Ridge Gorge will be annoying, but I don't think it's going to be too insane for us. It's just kind of nasty, but semi-neutral uh, effects. Onyx River is going to be unpleasant with the lack of air initiatives. That actually does make my life a lot harder. Also, weaker national soldiers could become a problem pretty quickly. Then we have the Eastern Desert, where we travel really slowly, plus excess funds diminish over time. I don't like any of these, to be honest, but I think we're going to go for the Eastern Desert next and hope that that ends up being okay for us. Yeah, travel speed reduction, I, I, I just don't like. We cannot play with the Economist because that will just start diminishing all of our funds. We don't like that. We can't use the General, which also could be good on some of these other ones. Um, maybe we go for... Oh boy, I don't know. Uh, what do we want to go for? Maybe we go for the Development Director or the Tank Commander. The Tank Commander is okay in this case. But maybe we just go for the Warlord? Excess funds diminishing over time. I think it's between the development director or the warlord in this case. Let's um let's go for the development director. I, I don't use this one too often, and hopefully this ends up being pretty good for us. Now we need faster travel speed, and this is where getting the logistics experts so we can move through stable zones will be very good. Uh I think we will want to probably go for the drill sergeant so I can train up national soldiers faster. Extra money from stable zones would be nice. Low rotation doesn't affect my money too much. Mm, this could be pretty good for me too. I think it's between the tax collector or the wealthy exile. Let's go for the wealthy exile in this case. Uh, I am going to probably start the game randomly and have extra money I can use to fund extra initiatives using the development director. Let's um, greatly. Let's actually go for the Tribal Elder to delay the start of the insurgency so I have a chance to stabilize some more zones. And let's go for the Doctor so that I can win over hostile populations more easily. The third map, if I'm going to lose in a campaign, this is usually it. The third map can be rough. Remember, we did start with a couple of free garrisons, which can be helpful in a few spots, depending. And this is not the worst spot. As long as the insurgents aren't up here to the north, uh, we've mostly got a lot of these areas covered, so that will give me a pretty nice advantage. Let's go over the district representatives, the effective procurements. Let's make sure we grab some education initiatives. Don't forget we start with some of the discussions available right off the bat. And I will hire some experts so we can start getting some urban areas under my control nice and quick. Where to go? I guess we go over here to start. Okay. We, go, we can't go into areas we don't have intel? You know, I actually never knew that about the development director. That's interesting. So we're going to start rolling out initiatives for a dollar. In this case, telecoms. I haven't researched it, but we're just going to go ahead and start building this up based on the needs of the people, which is pretty nice. Uh, it is going to cost me a lot of money is the only downside, but I think we'll live with it. Getting extra PR and communications and stuff is extra helpful because it lets you stabilize single zones a lot faster with this particular uh, director. Remember, our excess funds diminish over time, so we have to be careful with that. Um, there are interstates we could probably take use of, but corruption would already get kind of high. Let's go for the universal justice. I'm just going to try... Basically, my only strategy to win this is go for as many stable zones as quickly as possible. Do that, and we're going to be okay. Um, I think I will go for some corruption reduction. What else are we building up here? Remember, every time we build one of these initiatives, we make it cheaper to buy for the rest of the zone. So town clinics, some land tenure and stuff. This is all getting built up and will help a little bit. We're spending another dollar to build out even more telecoms, which reduces the cost for everyone else to get telecoms by a dollar. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, we never did get the uh, regional census. Whoops, that was a misplay on my part. Let's go ahead and grab it to get some extra intel. Found a remote specialist depot. That actually could be helpful. Now, the problem with the development director is uh, soldiers are extra expensive. So we have to save extra money if we do want to get ourselves the soldiers up and running. Which is one of the reasons delaying the start of the insurgency is pretty helpful, obviously. Uh, what else should we do? Well, I still don't have any roads, but it looks like we built some out anyway. Healthcare is demanded. Let's go ahead and grab that. I think I'll just save my money because I'm going to need troops to deal with these guys quickly. Yep, alright. So now that that's authorized, let's go ahead and grab them immediately. I want to start clearing out some of these zones. Hopefully they spawn in a spot that, like over here, for example. But let's just go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, they spawned over here. Uh, awkward, but not the worst. We have a stable zone. Okay, we actually did find them, plus a camp. Okay, unexpected. Let's go for some more coalition soldiers, since they're so expensive. 
And let's try to fight them off and kick them off into the mountains. But getting rid of that camp early on is pretty nice. Never mind. Hang on. Uh, actually, wait. No, you're fine. Let's go over here and try to get rid of this camp. If possible. I don't actually want to win this fight if they're going to retreat this way, though. They are. Hang on. Um, back up. Let them stay. No! Nope. Darn it. All right. It's not what I expected, but all right. Fine, fine, fine. We're just going to have to reinforce over here. It's okay. It's okay. We just got to get rid of that camp. Nice and quick. Okay, what else do we want to do? Uh, well, what else are you asking for? Healthcare and electricity, huh? Well, I can get some extra healthcare for a couple bucks. I can get the electricity to roll out other initiatives faster, which is fine. Don't have a lot more money to work with. I can't let them have the uh, garrison. We have to go defend this. If the garrison gets destroyed, I'll be very sad. Not quite able to destroy... There, the base. Okay, you know what? I'll go ahead and retreat. I'll lose one reputation, but why, why worry about it? Why even worry about it? Just get the heck out of here. Let's uh, start training up some national soldiers, because we know we're going to need that. Let's go ahead and get the strategic communications. You need to move elsewhere, since we've already made them happy. Let's go to a different city. Start rolling this out. Lots of stuff that you built. My god. Yeah, no problem at all, right? Uh, oh, I would love to do some aid. That will cost me money. Let us give you the extensive aid, so we can get some extra boost to support. They're coming to attack over here, but that was enough to stabilize another zone for me, so that's nice. I can't really let them take this either, unfortunately, so we have to go fight down here. I mean, right now it's okay, but like, generally speaking, you don't let them take zone, uh, urban zones if you can avoid it. That's usually a big no-no. I need more corruption reduction. Now, one of the downsides of playing as the development director is we were spending extra dollars on all these little initiatives, which is nice, but also results in me not having a lot of money for other uh, initiatives when I need them, which can be a bit of a problem. Still, so far these guys are fairly well contained. We have to get rid of a... Uh, we have to get rid of a cave, but I'm not too worried about that. A uh, garrison right here actually is pretty awesome. We'll take that. Makes it a little bit easier to win. Training up a few national soldiers. You can either go ahead and retreat off in this direction. I'll use national soldiers to go ahead and grab this remote specialist. We'll keep him forever on the national soldiers because those are obviously pretty helpful. What else we want to do? Uh, more corruption reduction? Nah, right now we're okay. Um, everyone still wants healthcare, but I think that's honestly fine. Let's go for highways. We're gonna start building up our travel speed a little bit. Another cave in the urban zone. Yeah, that's gonna be a thing. It sucks. So far, though, these guys just keep trying to join their zones up, and we have them well split with a, um... We have them nicely split with garrisons, so we have an advantage. Let's deploy the remote specialist. I mean, most of the endgame fights end up being in, um end up being in the mountains anyway. So, like, that's just super duper good. Let's get the interpreters and guides so we stop antagonizing quite so much. I need to move the development directors to other urban areas, like over here, for example. Okay, we were able to get rid of the cave at least, so that's good. Yes, the insurgents take this zone. That's fine. We got garrisons. We'll be fine. What else do we want? More? Yes, more soldiers, and we need more corruption reduction. This place actually already got stabilized. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, more corruption reduction, like that. Right now, Insurgent Activity is only losing me a tiny little bit of um, uh, reputation per month. It's pretty darn negligible, so I don't feel too worried about it. You can now move over here and provide some extra reinforcements since we are still struggling. I have to now get the Foreign Relations Office so we can apply the subtle pressure. So far, this is going okay, actually. I think the Development Director kind of works in this one. Didn't expect that, but it really does seem to have worked. You now can move where? Um, let's move... The thing is, I don't want to move them into an area where the uh, insurgents might attack them. So let's just go for some remote areas, I guess, instead. Some security could be helpful to kind of ward these guys off. Coalition deployment ending soon. We got plenty of reputation so far. Really nothing to worry about there, so I'll probably extend them out a little bit. We can save the money and focus on more important things. Especially because, you know, these guys are already so expensive to get in terms of money. Why waste it? Or rather, why let them leave? Yeah, see, this is exactly why I didn't want to move these uh, engineers down here. Okay, so let's move you over. We can honestly go for the kill on some of these. Maybe we should. Let's move you here, move you here. We can start getting these guys into corners and finish them off. So we don't have anything to worry about. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Good question. We could go for airstrikes. Could go for the secure compounds. Decreases their movement speed, but they can survive better. Meh. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get some more soldiers and some more corruption reduction. Honestly, I, I, I think I think we're fine. We have nothing to worry about. This map has gone very, very well so far. Okay, they're about to be stabilized. Let's go ahead and just start preemptively moving. There we go. Easy enough. Just using the power of the development director effectively. 
We can also start picking up more initiatives for like super cheap. Like this is a dollar. This is a dollar. Like why not? The only things that are still expensive are stuff like corruption reduction and more soldiers. That's it. Uh, you need to get out of here. Garrison right here. Perfect. Okay, so we have a complete wall between these groups then. And I think that the AI automatically wants to join up groups wherever possible, so they'll keep fighting to join back up, and it's not going to work, which is fun. Let's threaten them for some extra reputation. Now we'll be sitting at about 77. Let's get some airstrikes so we can win this fight. There we go. Stabilized over here. Nice. How are we looking pretty much over here? Almost done, I think. Let's start training up the rest of the national soldiers so that these coalition troops can leave when the time comes. Okay, managed to stabilize over here. Only the desert left. Let's go ahead and... Actually, you're almost stabilized. Let's go ahead and move down to the desert. This place is almost done as it is. And I guess I'll move you here. Found a cave. Let's move you. Move you. Move you. And what I'm going to do is start grabbing the civil assistance so we can start really ramping this up. New Air Force. Costs a lot of money, but means that we're going to be a lot stronger with our national soldiers, and I think that's well worth it. Yeah, this was easy, uh, honestly. We, we actually were able to contain this shockingly quickly. I didn't think that the development director was going to be this good on this map, but it seems to have been the right choice. We stabilized some zones very rapidly. More subtle pressure, 51% chance. Didn't work, darn it. Okay, now they're spawning over here, and that's going to get irritating. Okay, we found a camp. We can get rid of that. Going to move you... Where do I want to move them? I'm going to move you out of harm's way first. There's a camp. Okay, hang on. We got to get rid of that. Let's get some drones. Let's get some travel logistics so we can move around faster. I like that we were able to kill this group off, but now we've got to go figure this out. It's kind of important we destroy this uh, very rapidly. I'm going to go ahead and just move you guys out of harm's way for the moment. Prepare some land for refugees. Yes. I just want to get these guys fully uh, happy so we can move on. Like, right now, I can't spread myself too thin. We don't have enough troops to keep rolling out all the initiatives all willy-nilly. But I really want to get these guys corralled in. So maybe... Maybe we do just send these guys over here and try to finish them off. Um, or something. Move over here. I'm just trying to corral them into a group. Like that. Then move over here. Nope, wait. You were better off before. Mm, okay, that did not work. That was literally the worst way we could possibly have handled that. Oh, well. Uh, development director, go over here. What else? Strength? Sure. Um, and then uh, maybe some extra policing. And maybe then some purges of corruption or something. Okay, they're heading for the embassy. I can't let them do that, for obvious reasons. We go over here, we might be able to kick these guys back into the mountains. And if we kick you guys over here, we can finish them off. If the embassy is destroyed, we are going to lose the game. We cannot allow that. Uh, let's go for a try to talk. How rapidly can they take over this zone, though? Not fast enough to be a threat, I don't think. So it really comes down to how fast you guys can get over here, and you finish them off. Perfect, thank you. Okay. Now we're going to let you go home. The other one's about to leave me as well, but let's get over here. And the rest of you, just roll out initiatives as much as you can in the deserts. Doing okay over here? Think so. Just now arriving over here with the development. Insurgents are going to be banned? Absolutely. Let's get some heavier ordnance and more strength for some of these guys. And actually, we don't need a corruption purge right now. We're doing fine on that front. This place is about to be stabilized. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Found another camp where we're already set up. Kind of awkward. Make them cut some support. Uh, say you're sorry. And then as soon as we win this zone back, we're going to let you go home. We can always get another surge of coalition troops as needed. It's no problem. Get another garrison. Okay, so these guys are going to be pretty well boxed in, actually. We can move you here and move you here and just finish them off before they become a problem. I think we're under attack over here. Yeah, we have some security. But it's not going to be enough. Let's get the remote outreach. Let's get some dirt roads. Finish stabilizing these a little bit faster. I'm going to give some land to the refugees, which decreases the support level, but I don't really care. We don't even have any international forces, but I'm just going to say that they can stay here as long as they dang well want. Protest over a lack of jobs. Really, though? Fine. Land rights. They're cheap. I know we rolled those out for free earlier. So that group's gone. Good. You move. You move. 
You move, keep rolling things out. How are we looking over here? Pretty good. Insurgents are going to hand over all of their weapons. Um, don't need more troops right now, so let's go for a corruption reduction. Let's go for some more dirt roads. We have security over here, which I think should have been enough to kill whoever just was walking in there, if I saw correctly. Um, you actually need to go and defend up over here. Destroyed another camp. Okay, so that's why they keep spawning. Makes sense. Subtle pressure. Cut your support. This time it has to work. It's got to work this time, right? Imprison your leaders. Come on. we got to be almost done with some of these. Nearby region stabilized. Just gave me a huge boost in my reputation, which I love. Thank you. You guys really had to spawn right there? Really, though? You're annoying. You know that, right? All right. Screw it. Let's go. Oh, we can only get three coalition soldiers. I forgot. Right. That is a problem of development director. The development director says you can only get a couple. Uh, well, we want to trap these guys in a corner. Um, I do not want them going toward the embassy, so let's just go ahead and make sure we're defending that. You, I don't know what to do with, to be honest, so we're just going to move you somewhere else. Let's see where these guys end up retreating. Down this way? Perfect. So if I go fast, we can finish this group off and then we can go for the kill. Reject the deal. I got plenty of reputation. We could just accept it, but I'm not going to. Let's get rid of the caves faster. Uh, let's go for more frequent airstrikes, at least a little bit. I know we have to, we have more people taking zones. I do kind of want to save this garrison, but I don't think we're going to get to in time. And they're spawning more over here. We didn't quite get rid of this cave fast enough. I took a gamble on that one. Didn't work. All right. So you're going to go. You're going to go. You're going to go. We have some security in this zone, I think. Yeah, 314% security is no problem. We're fine there. So let's just start moving in for the kill, then. We lost a garrison, but, like, who cares? We'll get rid of this. Let's get some combat strength from the drones. Let's go for another corruption purge. Let's get the democratic transition for even more score. Okay. I do not want to lose the city. We already have troops on the way, but they're taking a very long time. Eh. The security should buy me some time. I think we're okay. Let's uh, let's get these security checkpoints so it's harder for them to take control and also boost up their strength. So the garrisons are just stronger anyway. There we go. Got rid of that. Okay. And it looks like they were able to finish off the last of the insurgents up over here. So that's fine. Let's prioritize the elections and spend some money for a bit more. And then uh, I do want to increase the pay of my soldiers. Not sure we're going to get enough money fast. Oh, we did. Wow. Let's increase the uh, strength then. I did not expect that to work. And now we go for the kill. This should be a full surround just in time for me to get a lot more uh, reputation from the elections, and then we can accept a peace deal. Well, depending on when the elections actually take place, but it should be pretty soon. We have been traveling very slowly on this map thanks to the fuel shortage, but so far we were able to make that work pretty well. On certain maps, fuel shortage is practically death. I mean, it's truly abysmal. I do want the full elections. 4% chance. I'll take that. That's fine. 5. 161 reputation now. Wow. And now that they have no zones, the peace deal should go way, way, way faster. That went great, all in all. Uh, the development director was the right choice. It worked. Okay. Uh, oh, there was actually more from a camp. So we lost a tiny bit of reputation as a result. But whatever, it's fine. We still end with 157. Good score coming out of that. 17,000 points. Okay. Good, good, good. So that leaves two maps left. What's the next perk going to be? Violent ambushes. Signific uh, deployment of coalition soldiers costs significantly more reputation to extend. That sucks. But it means we're going to have to transition to national soldiers a little bit faster. Uh, tripwires. Garrisons kill all insurgents. Eh. Gain reputation when insurgent camps are destroyed. Yes. And then start with an urban specialist. I think we go for propaganda team. And as we destroy them, we get enough reputation to counteract how much we have to spend in order to extend our coalition troops. That could work. All right. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.